Hey everyone and welcome back. So it is uh, the end of March or almost the end of March, which means we do have the Arrow announcements for June. Right? I think we're up to June. And originally I was thinking that was probably all I was going to cover, but there have been actually a couple of other announcements that uh, I definitely want to dive into. So um, just so this isn't this video isn't too, too long, uh, I know pickups videos tend to run a little bit longer, but these types of videos, you know, the announcements and news and stuff like that, try and keep them a little bit more concise. So I'm probably not going to go over every last detail on a lot of these just to keep this moving along. So first up is an update from MVD uh, Rewind on their upcoming release of Hardware Wars. So um, the original uh, HD Master that they were going to use, uh, actually apparently goes back to about 2012. And they were able to actually do a brand new HD transfer from the original um, 16 millimeter, what was it again? Uh, reversal print. Wow. Okay. So, um, and they were able to give it obviously a new transfer. Uh, so it's uh, the upcoming release Technically, I think it's still slated for April something or other. I forget the exact date, but it may get pushed back till May just as a heads up on that. But this release will also still include that older HD Master um, and, and all the extras as far as I know are the same. So all the interviews and all the other uh, short films and everything. So just want to give you guys a heads up on that. And next up, we move over to Kino. So Kino has um, a couple updates to, I think I covered the two of these before. Um, and then uh, an announcement, uh, a new upcoming 4K announcement. So first up, just want to do the two uh, Blu-ray releases because they pretty much detail them. Um, and the two I'm actually looking forward uh, to. One of them I know is technically just a re-release, and I believe both of these are due on the May 21st. Yeah, May 21st. So first up is a re-release of Revenge of the Ninja, the film from 1983, which is a film I absolutely love. I love Revenge of the Ninja. It's one of those films I think I mentioned before. I grew up and I used to rent that like a ton. <laughs> you know, I just loved it so much. So it is getting a re-release. Um, so the transfer is going to be the same, but uh, this is going to be on a bigger size Blu-ray. Uh, this is a Blu-ray release. So instead of the uh, 25 gigabyte uh, disc, it's going to be on 50 gigabyte disc, which should um, make the video aspects of the transfer breathe more, so to speak. So um, it should technically still look a bit better. And actually the cool thing is that even though it is a re-release with the exact same extras as before, they actually did include, uh, they're putting a new commentary track by action film historians, Mike Leader and Arnie Venema. So it's cool it is actually getting a new extra. And again, that's uh, May 21st. And then the other one, which I'm very excited about, even though I do wish it was a 4K release, but uh, it's a, obviously the Blu-ray release of the movie, uh, The Perfect Weapon from 1991. And they did release the specs. So it does have a new 4K transfer uh, from, I believe the original negative, right? Yeah, the original camera negative. Um, but again, this is a Blu-ray release. Unfortunately, I really wish it was a 4K release, but it does have a new commentary track with director Mark DeSalle and action film historian Mike Leader, as well as a new interview with star Jeff Speakman, deleted and extended scenes and a theatrical trailer. So this is one I am super excited about. I uh, just, just so you know, real quick, I think I mentioned it before, is when I was a kid, um, I saw this film, I went through, you know, martial arts phase, which I think a lot of us do, and I saw this film and I became so fascinated by the martial arts in this film, those sort of like explosive, very fast movements, which is part of the Kenpo uh, martial arts. Now, in my life, I've studied a couple different kinds, studied kickboxing, uh, kung fu a little bit, uh, kali a little bit as well. But the one I've studied the most, uh, especially as an adult anyway, some of those were when I was younger, uh, is Kenpo. And actually got up to studying towards my uh, brown belt. And I'm not gonna lie, my interest in Kenpo literally comes from this film. So I'm super excited uh, about this release, even if it's not a 4K release. And also coming May 21st is a uh, Blu-ray release of the movie Death Machine from 1994. It's gonna be a two disc set and is actually gonna have two versions of the film. So disc one will have the US version clocking in at 100 minutes and then the foreign version clocking in at 122 minutes. So the US version has a new 2K scan from the inner positive. It's got commentary track, a trailer, plus a newly created director's cut at 106 minutes with a commentary track with a director, a technical commentary track with a director, audio conversation with a director and makeup artist Al Gillis, as well as an isolated score, a 7.1 surround track and a 2.0 stereo track. 
I missed that part about the director's cut. So actually, so there's three cuts in this set. And then this two, which has the um, 122 minute cut uh, from a 2019 restoration with interviews, including one with the composer, the editor, costume designer, producer, co-producer, uh, still gallery, behind the scenes, still gallery, a German Japanese uh, theatrical trailers, a promo for the Japanese Laserdisc, as well as 5.1 surround and 2.0 audio. And again, this is a Blu-ray release, but it looks like a really, really cool one. So, uh, and again, that's also slated for May 21st. And then the announcement, we don't have any uh, specs just yet, but they, uh, Kino is doing a 4K release of the movie Dust Devil. Now, this is very, very cool. This is uh, Richard Stanley's second film or third film, which is good news. Now, the only thing is we don't have specs yet, don't even have a release date just yet. And also, I don't know which cut of the film, because uh, I believe there are two cuts. It was a theatrical cut, and I believe there is a director's cut. So I think the director's cut was on a uh, older release from several years ago. So um, I'm hoping it has both cuts. Because if I remember, I think the theatrical cut was like edited pretty bad. I could be wrong. It's been a while since I watched it. So, but anyway, hopefully we'll get details on that pretty soon. But they did make the announcement. Oh, and I do want to mention real quick that Kino is having another one of their sales. It runs until through uh, April 22nd. Um, and uh, yeah, it's actually a lot of good stuff on there. Pretty good prices, including some of their uh, 4K releases as well. Even some of the more recent ones. Like I was actually surprised to see that their uh, more recent release, uh, the 4K release of Underworld, the the, the Clyde Barker one uh, is up in the sale. So that was, I grabbed that, including a couple other ones. But uh, yeah, so if you're interested, head on over to the Kino uh, Kino Lorber, Lorber website uh, for their sale for the next uh, couple weeks. So before I get to the Arrow ones, we do actually have a pretty uh, interesting announcement from Severin. It's a box set. It's a massive box set called The Game of Clones Bruce Ploitation Collection Volume 1. It's an eight disc set, uh, which also includes a book. And this thing is massive. So it's got, let's see, 14 films. It's got a documentary, uh, a recent documentary on it called Enter the Clones of Bruce, which I'll get to in just a moment, plus a ton of extras. So this one, I'm probably going to skip through a little quicker <laughs> just because there's so much here. So this is slated for June 25th. And okay, so first up, uh, let's just start with the actual box set first. So first up, uh, the box set, um, retails uh, up for pre-order right now at the Severn website for $135. And again, this is a Blu-ray set and I believe it's completely region free. So again, it's an eight disc set, including uh, a web store exclusive disc, which I'll get to, as well as a hundred page book on all these Bruce Lee uh, copycats, basically. So all right, let's just dive right in. So disc one has Enter the Clones of Bruce, which is the new documentary uh, from David Gregory. It's got a commentary track as well as some uh, extra interview uh, outtakes and stuff and a trailer. And then disc two onward is when we start getting in the film. So disc two has uh, the clones of Bruce Lee from 1980 with a commentary track with a ton of people on it, looks like. Uh, two interviews as well as the trailer. And the other film on disc two is Enter Three Dragons from 1978. And that has an interview with Michael Worth as well as the trailer. And then we move on to disc three, which has Enter the Game of Death from 1978 with a partial commentary track, uh, commentary track with actor Chi Ling Chu, a couple of interviews and the trailer. And the other film on the disc is Goodbye Bruce Lee, His Last Game of Death from 1975 with a commentary track, some interviews, a radio spot and a trailer. We move on to disc four, which has The Dragon Lives Again from 1977 which has a commentary track, deleted scenes from a French version, an audio essay, interview with Michael Worth, which I think is on like every, uh, with every film, I believe, as well as the trailer. And the next up is Bruce and the Iron Finger from 1979 with a commentary track, a roundtable discussion, deleted scenes, the Michael Worth uh, interview, US and Hong Kong trailer. And then moving on to disc five, Challenge of the Tiger from 1980 with a commentary track, the Michael Worth interview and a trailer, and then a Cameroon Connection from 1984 with a commentary track, interviews, a Q&A, and uh, the Michael Worth interview. Moving on to disc six, Super Dragon, the Bruce Lee story from 1974 with a partial commentary track, an interview, TV spot, and a trailer, as well as The Dragon Lives from 1976 with a commentary track, an audio interview, some extra interviews, and TV spots. Disc eight, 
Ooh, okay, let's keep going. The Dragon, the hero from 1980 with a commentary track, interview, deleted scenes, another interview, and the trailer. Rage of the Dragon from 1980 with a commentary track, roundtable discussion, the Michael Worth interview, and trailer. And then disc eight in the set is the web uh, store exclusive. So I believe that you can only get this through the Severin website that'll be included. So I believe the retail version will not come with this ex extra disc. So the web store exclusive uh, disc comes with the Big Boss Part Two from 1976 with the Michael Worth uh, interview and the trailer. And then finally, uh, the Black Dragon versus the Yellow Tiger from 1974 with a commentary track, the Michael Worth uh, interview, and the trailer. Oof, man. So as you can tell, there's a ton of stuff here. And there's also a couple of uh, two extra books that you can order as well if you're interested. First one for $25 is uh, These Fists Break Bricks, How Kung Fu Movies Swept America and Changed the World. And then the other book, uh, also for $25, is Martial Art, The Art of Bruce Ploitation Movie Posters, limited to 100, which is cool. I, obviously, I'm a sucker for movie posters. And if you only wanted the documentary that is available on a separate Blu-ray, uh, The Answer of the Clones of Bruce Blu-ray, and that is uh, available on its own for $24. But again, that is included in the box set. And finally, in true Severn fashion, I, as of this recording, this is still available. They do have a massive bundle that actually comes with even a lot more stuff. So, okay, for $195, uh, you get uh, obviously the, the Blu-ray box set, that's the given, with the full eight discs and the included book, as well as Enter the Clones of Bruce, a poster signed by Bruce Lee, L-E, Bruce Lee, Son of the Dragon, vintage original 1974 poster, that's cool, a cassette single with a free digital download code, featuring he's a legend, he's a hero, and even a strong man must die. From the Dragon Lives, King of Kung Fu, from Goodbye, Bruce Lee, His Last Game of Death, Dragon Motion, and... Nunchaku Mania from Enter the Clones of Bruce. And then uh, the Black Dragon versus the Yellow Tiger postcard signed by Grandmaster Clint Robinson. And then finally, a Dragon Lee original vintage one sheet poster in three styles Rage of the Dragon, Dragon on Fire, Dragon's Inferno folded style selected at random. So I don't know, maybe you only get one. One of the three, maybe? I'm not sure about that. But anyway. So that's one of their big, big bundles. Um, so yeah, there's obviously a lot here. This is quite a set. And even though I've known about some of these films, I haven't seen any of them. Even though, even during my martial arts uh, phase, I don't think I've, I don't think I've seen any of these. So if you've seen any of these, definitely let me know because actually I'm pretty interested in getting this. You know, it's like this is kind of the films where like I'm pretty simple. You know, it's as long as the story is just decent, but the fight scenes are great, I'm happy. You know, that's kind of all I ask for is that whether or not it's a Bruce Lee clone or not, don't care. Just entertain me. That's all I ask. And then finally, we get to the Arrow announcements for June. Um, so we have, let's see, we have uh, three UK only titles. I think two of them are 4K and one of them I think is Blu-ray only. We have one title that is US and Canada only. Um, and then we have one title that is uh, US, Canada, and the UK, luckily. So at least there's one title here that uh, we can all get without any uh, trouble. So I'll do the UK only ones first. So this first one is a Blu-ray only release. And I believe, let's see, I think this is a semi-recent film. I think I saw it was just from like two years ago. From, yeah, 2022. From Teresa Nekotova. It's a film Night. Siren set for June 3rd and let's see up for pre-order for 18 pounds. It's got a new commentary track, a brand new video essay, a couple brand new video essays as well as the theatrical trailer. Not familiar with this film but it has to do with uh, like witchcraft and stuff or someone to choose of witchcraft so I don't know it looks pretty interesting. So if you've seen it definitely let me know. Uh, again that is UK only so I assume this is region B locked. For those of you outside of the UK. Uh, so we got two more that are UK only, but they're 4K releases. So first up is a 4K release of the film with Nail and I from uh, 1985 or 86. In 1986, with Paul McGann and Richard E. Grant and Richard Griffiths uh, retailing for, let's see, uh, or uh, for pre-order rather, for 30 pounds. It's got a brand new 4K restoration from the original negative approved by the director of photography. As well as the original mono soundtrack and a 5.1 uh, surround mix, commentary with the director, commentary with the writers, or with the critic, rather. All four original uh, With Nail Weekend documentaries. 
interview with a production designer and appreciation of the film and audio uh, archival interview with Bruce Robinson as well as a theatrical trailer. And again, that is a uh, UK only release, but it is 4K, so uh, it should be region free in that regard. Next up is uh, again, UK only, 4K release of the movie Madman uh, for pre-order right now, uh, at least at the Arrow website, for £22. Now, it does say it has a 4K transfer of the film from the original camera negative. So some of you may remember uh, here in the States, Vinegar Syndrome put out a 4K release of Madman a year and a half ago, I think, something like that. Um, and I'm assuming because it doesn't say anything that Arrow did their own restoration, it's probably using that exact same... Uh, I'm assuming, uh, 4K transfer that was on the Vinegar Syndrome one, which is a really nice transfer. So um, this way, you guys in the UK um, can get it. And just real quick, it's got the original mono soundtrack, uh, commentary track with the director and some of the stars, interview with Galen Ross, who is in the film, a retrospective documentary, uh, interview with the producer, as well as a couple other interviews, original theatrical trailer and TV spots, and it's still an uh, artwork gallery. I'm pretty sure the these extras are almost the exact same ones that are were also on the Vinegar Syndrome one. So this is just, I think, I don't want to speak out of turn here, but I think this is basically the Vinegar Syndrome one that Arrow is putting out for those of you in the UK who weren't able to get the Vinegar Syndrome one. So, and now you can, which is cool. So, all right. So that's the UK only. Next up, we're going to do the US and Canada only release. And this is definitely an interesting one because it's, uh, so there will be a 4K release and a separate uh, Blu-ray release, which is interesting because we it actually got a Blu-ray release here in the States um, last year, or was it two years ago? And that is uh, a new release of the movie American Gigolo, the film starring Richard Gere. Um, so it's getting a, uh, again, a 4K release and a separate Blu-ray release. And let's take a look at the specs. So it has a new 4K remaster done by Arrow Films with the original mono soundtrack along with a stereo and 5.1 uh, audio options. A new commentary track uh, with film critic uh, Adrian Martin, a brand new interview with writer-director Paul Schrader, interview with Hector Elizondo, uh, new interviews with a couple more actors. Sorry, I'm going to kind of skip through some of these. Several interviews here. There's a ton of extras here. So a lot of interviews um, about actors, camera operator, um, music, as well as uh, the original trailer and an image gallery. So this is actually going to have, so is that for pre-order right now? Uh, is it going to be one of their deluxe sets? Uh, so, you know, standard release will come out down the line so um there's going to be three versions of this so there's the 4k sort of retail release um of it and then there'll be uh same thing but just blu-ray only i assume the blu-ray will be region a locked um and then a aero store exclusive with the original one sheet artwork on the uh on the front of the case so again a really cool release um and it's nice seeing it's getting an upgrade um over the blu-ray because the blu-ray that came out before um was okay you know the transfer was okay but uh it's nice seeing that it is going to get a brand new transfer and it is going to be in 4k and retails for 59.95 currently up for pre-order for 45 dollars and that is set for june 18th did i mention the release date on some of the other ones i may not have Hold on, Night Siren was June 3rd. I think I mentioned that one. With Nail and I was June 24th, and Madman was also June 24th. Sorry, God, I'm jumping around here. All right, so yeah, so American Gigolo is June 18th. Gotta slow down here. All right, one more left. <laughs> so we're almost there. So next up, and this is the one that is gonna be US, Canada, and UK. Uh, a 4K release of the movie Mute Witness. But this one will also have a separate uh, Blu-ray release as well um, in both territories. Set for June 11th, so let me get that out of the way uh, first before I forget, retailing for $49.99 um, and up for pre-order right now, at least from the Arrow website, for $35. Has a 4K restoration approved by the director, the original stereo soundtrack, as well as a new uh, commentary with the director, a new commentary with the production designer and composer, Brand new visual essay, um, a brand, uh, two brand new visual essays on the film. Original snuff movie presentation produced to generate interest from investors and distributors featuring interviews with Anthony Waller and members of the creative team. Wow, that should be interesting, actually. Looking forward to seeing that because I've had to do that before where you have to create uh, something to kind of help, you know, sort of sell a film to like investors and stuff so you can raise money. So that's cool. Look forward to seeing that. Original location, scouting footage, original footage with Alec Guinness filmed a decade prior to the rest uh, of Mute Witness. 
a teaser trailer, a regular trailer, and an image gallery. So this is exciting because Mutant Witness, if you've never seen it, is a really good film. Um, and it's kind of one of those that sort of seemed like it kind of got lost. I don't even know if, did it get a Blu-ray release before? I don't know. If, if it did, I don't remember seeing it. So fantastic news. Looking forward to getting uh, that one and uh, well yeah, a lot of these like American Gigolo even looking forward to upgrading that one all right so I think that's everything let me double check my notes I think I think I covered everything I was supposed to I, I'm sorry I sort of skipped through some of the details I'm trying to keep this video a little bit within a decent length anyway so um yeah so coming up next we should be getting uh the next batch of Screen Factory announcements uh probably within the next week or so. Now just as a heads up, uh next week, first week of April, kind of a little bit of a hectic week. So if there is an announcement uh for Screen Factory, I will try and get in a video at some point during the week. Uh I, I, like I know next Friday which I usually like putting out videos on Friday, may not be able to. I will try and cover it as best I can if those announcements do come uh, this uh, next week. Anyway, I'm all over the place. I've been talking long enough. Uh, so let me know your thoughts on all of these announcements. Uh, if you have any questions, definitely let me know. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.